Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK. It's the 18th of May and I'm in the beautiful Weir Gardens in Herefordshire. We've got the lovely River Wye running alongside it. Really is one of our uh, favourite places to run courses and we run courses here all year because there are so many lovely plants and even mushrooms to talk about in this garden. So I'm just going to focus on one today over here which is growing in abundance actually, all, all over the place around here. All these white flowers that you see are this plant. And I'll just pick a flowering stem and a leaf stem so that I can show you the plant up close and how to ID it. So this is three-cornered leek. And if you get a close up of the flower, you see it's got that green stripe running down the middle of every petal. That differentiates it from a few flowered garlic, which is very, very similar. But three-cornered leek, Allium triquestrum. As the name suggests, it's got a triangle on it, and that's this flowering stem. You can see it's triangular, much like it is on the few flowered garlic as well. This is the leaf, which you can see has a, a ridge running down the back. It's a very common plant. You often find it growing in amongst bluebells and there are some bluebells around here. Um, it will be, and it looks very much like a, a white bluebell growing in amongst them, but it's not. It's in a completely different family. Bluebells are, are toxic, whereas this is an allium or it's in the onion family. Um, much like wild garlic, um, it's very similar in flavour to wild garlic, but for me wild garlic just edges it. So when we find wild garlic and uh, three-cornered leek together, we normally err towards the wild garlic. But these flowers are lovely as a garnish. These stems and these leaves are lovely to use to make pestos or to flavour anything with a bit of an oniony, garlicky type of flavour. Um, it really is a plant that I do very much like eating but it's um, unlike wild garlic it's not a plant where I'll collect the seeds and, and throw them about where I'm walking because it's considered an invasive species it actually came over from the Mediterranean much like few flowered garlic and uh, you're not allowed to plant them in the wild we're in a managed gardens here so it's gonna kept under control um, but if you do see this in the wild you should really try to restrict it from spreading. It's one that we find through quite a lot of the year, unlike wild garlic, which will be finishing up. The wild garlic in this park here uh, has already gone to seed on the 18th of May, or at least most of it has already gone to seed. Um, and it will be gone by the middle of June or, or late in June in most parts of the country. Whereas the uh, three-cornered leek, we tend to find almost all year round. It seems to have two or three goes in quite a lot of the patches that, that it grows in. So we might even see some flowering in this uh, part of the park here in, uh, in a couple of months. Um, it is a lovely, lovely tasting plant. Like I say, the only problem with it, with it is that it's uh, considered invasive. There's lots of alliums around, the onion family. Um, I do believe that uh, most of the alliums, or alliums in general, are all toxic to, to most other mammals. I think humans are pretty much the only mammal that uh, can safely eat all of these onion plants. And I'm going to uh, take this little stem home and a few more of them, and I'm going to uh, make a, a three-cornered leek pesto today instead of my wild garlic pesto, which is what we normally do. So there you go, three-cornered leek. What you've got to know is triangular stem and the green stripes down the middle of the flower. Few flowered garlic will end up with the, uh, or few flowered leek, it's got both names, uh, will end up with a, a, a large bulbil of seed pods on the top and that tastes lovely. This has a, a smaller sort of little triple bulbil on uh, the, the flower head after, after the petals drop. Anyway, there you go. Another good excuse to go out foraging. If you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.